Now that every Mario Odyssey outfit has been released, presumably, I thought it'd be fun to rank every single one in the game. This is based off the least to most interesting outfits, with some backstory on where they originate from too. So with that said, let's get her ranked. 58, Invisibility Hat. I feel like this outfit is loved by like eight people. And look, maybe I would be in that group too, but I can't see what the hell it looks like. I get it, it's a funny outfit, but it makes actually playing the game rather unbearable. Also, throwing Cappy isn't invisible, so that kind of ruins the joke of not being able to see, but I digress. 57, Mario Cap and Suit. It's the suit we all know and love, but in comparison to the rest of the costumes, it's pretty boring to look at. I need me some variety. 56, Captain's Hat. This hat doesn't come with a suit, and it's not that intriguing. Yeah, it shows that Mario is the captain of the Odyssey, but does anybody even spend quality time in that dinky little ship anyway? 55, Clown Hat and Suit. Good lord, talk about a scary outfit. And not in a good way. Maybe I have this so high up because I've never liked clowns that much, but this is just not appealing to look at. And for some reason, Mario's ears weren't painted white with the rest of his face? 54, Employee Cap and Uniform. Oh, how neat. It looks like Mario works at the Crazy Cap store. This one just makes me feel bad for Mario. I mean, the goddamn logo for the store is plastered on the hat, front and center. Do you think Mario really cares that much about the store? Hmm? He's not some walking advertising billboard. Mario's probably not even getting paid for this. 53, Gold Mario Cap and Suit. Look, I know that you guys are aware of how I feel about Pink Gold Peach. And quite frankly, those same feelings apply to Gold Mario as well. Yeah, this pays homage to the power-up in New Super Mario Bros. 2, but it just looks really stupid. Unless you're obsessed with shininess, nobody would wear this. 52, Classic Cap and Suit. Now, yes, this one references his clothing colors from the original Donkey Kong, and I get that. The callback to such a classic game is appreciated, but when it comes down to it, this is just Orange Mario, and nothing more. 51, Swim Goggles and Swimwear. Okay, I got a lot to say about this. First off, the floaty around Mario's belly doesn't even float. It's just a part of the uniform. Second, that snorkel is not gonna be helpful since Mario's usually deep under the water. Plus, when he's on land, he's running around with it in his mouth. Like, what are you doing? Isn't that making it hard to breathe? And third, he just looks derpy. Herpa derp. 50, Rango hat and suit. I've decided to put all the Brutals outfits in one place, starting with this one. Something about the long bunny ears just doesn't look right on Mario. And his hat doesn't even come with the saw blades like the original. 49, Topper Hat and Suit. The same points for this one, except the bunny ears don't look quite as stupid. I do actually dig the yellow bow tie and green top hat, but I think Nintendo summed this one up quite nicely. A cheap knockoff of a fancy tailored suit. Smells of carrots and broken promises. Agreed. 48, Spirit Hat and Suit. In case you ever wondered what Mario would look like as a death metal guitarist, this outfit pulls off a grungy look while also keeping things fancy with the suit. I'm also a little disturbed that Nintendo said to wash the hat thoroughly because of Spewart's hobbies. Ugh. 47, Harriet Hat and Suit. I mean, it's Mario dressed as a girl bunny. What more could you ask for? God, he looks so awkward rocking those heels out. But because of that, it has to be my favorite of the Brutal set. Not good, but at least it's funny. 46, Hakama. Here's an outfit that doesn't come with a hat. It's traditional Japanese clothing, but with Mario's M monogram on it. And crazy enough, this comes from the Club Nintendo calendar art in 2016. 45, Sailor Hat and Suit. This one fits the description, and that's about it. Nothing really pops or stands out about this outfit. And I guess that's okay if you've ever envisioned Mario like this, but I think it's boring. 44, Pirate Hat and Outfit. If you're into pirates, you're gonna love the sheer amount of detail poured into this baby. The leather boots paired with the long jacket and ascot look really appropriate. 43, Knight Helmet and Armor. For those that wanna feel like they're playing Dark Souls, the knight outfit is for you. It's got just the right tone of glossiness and grimness within the color palette. And with that said, it must be very uncomfortable to run around in. I would not want to whiff of that helmet when he takes it off after a long day. <sniffs> oh, that was stink. 42, happy headband and outfit. Like the Hakama, this piece is also traditional Japanese clothing, but bodies a resemblance to something you'd wear to a martial arts class. And this may be the first time we see Mario in flip-flops. While this may indeed be the peak moment in human history, it wouldn't be optimal to platform in those things. 41, Samurai Helmet and Armor. This sucker gives a lot of the same vibes as the knight outfit, but I prefer the flashier look. I mean, just look at him. He's practically a walking piece of art. The detailing on this armor is a spectacle. 
40, Caveman Headwear and Outfit. Mario's repping a Caveman, Fred Flintstone, and Dry Bones all at the same time. Now the headwear is a brilliant touch, but at the same time, it's kind of overkill. Like, could you actually imagine a caveman wearing a hat? 39, Scientist Visor and Outfit. I love that the visor packed with a long lab coat is pretty stylish looking, but there's just something about that hair. You'd think they were going for a Doc Brown kind of look, but in actuality, this comes from a Japanese commercial from the Super Game Boy, and Mario doesn't pull off this hair well. 38, Fashionable Cap and Outfit. With words like fashionable, you know you're in for a treat. I don't know why, but the skew of these colors somehow work remarkably well. And this outfit comes from a Nintendo 3DS Japanese commercial, which makes it even better. The cap is kind of boring, but overall this is indeed a fashionable outfit. 37, Batting Helmet and Uniform. If we ever get a new Mario Baseball game, Mario will definitely wear this outfit loud and proud. And you gotta love the 64 in the back too, of course referencing the original 3D Mario. But there's one problem. It seems like the left side of the helmet is just missing, and I'm not sure why. 36, Aviator Cap and Outfit. I'm sure you youngins think this outfit is striving for originality, because you've never seen Mario in a plane before, right? Well, that's where you'd be wrong. See, in Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, there's a level where you fly around shooting some baddies, and this is a recreation of that, and honestly, he's pretty stylish. 35, Conductor Wig and Outfit. When you think of the name Mario, the first thing that comes to mind is his big goofy face, but second is the World 1-1 Overworld theme. So seeing Mario in a conductor outfit is really striking. Now, I don't know how I feel about the Mozart hair, but this is a wig after all, and not his actual hairdo. 34, Racing Helmet and Outfit. While I don't find this the most visually interesting outfit, you can't deny the impressive amount of detail on the shirt. The logos aren't just randomly slapped on, they all come from Mario Kart 8, including Mario Motors, Bullet Bill Speed Trial, Sunshine Airport, and all the others. 33, Snow Hood and Suit. Is it just me, or does Mario all cuddled up in a thick jacket just adorable? Finally, after hundreds of ice levels, Mario is dressed appropriately. He's even got spikes on the soles of his boots for the landscape. And I really love how realistic the jacket looks, too. 32, Santa hat and outfit. Because let's be honest, if Mario secretly was Santa Claus all along, I wouldn't be that upset. The costume is nailed to a T, but the problem is Mario's mustache is still brown. See, if he really wanted to go all out, he should have brought some white hairspray and got on with it. And it's strange because his eyebrows are white, his beard is white, but not the, the, I don't know. 31, space helmet and suit. And speaking of being dressed for the occasion, Mario actually looks like an astronaut with this on. But even with the little M on the front and the red stripes here and there, it is a bit of a bland looking outfit. Unlike... 30, Satellaview Helmet and Suit. Yeah, this is basically the space suit, but 10 times cooler looking. I mean, it's made out of chrome, and everything's chrome in the future. Even better, this is a nod to the Satellaview, a modem add-on for the Super Famicom. It allowed you to download games and stream satellite radio. So, sorry, but the space suit has nothing on this. 29, Resort Hat and Outfit. Mario just looks so chilled out with this on. He's rocking the flip-flops again. The beach hat looks light and clean. He's got a necklace with flowers. The dude has aced his vacation look and then some. Also, notice how his Hawaiian based shirt is covered with mushrooms, stars, coins, and fire flowers. What a nice touch. 28, golf cap and outfit. Now, this does pay homage to his look in NES Open Tournament Golf, of course, but it's shocking how well these colors really do work with him. While Mario doesn't really say words, when he's wearing this thing, it speaks volumes. 27, mechanic cap and outfit. Similar to the racing suit, the mechanic sports the same kind of branding, with the Bowser Oil logo being more prominent. However, he's much more dazzling. I mean, Mario wears his hat backwards like all the cool 90s kids did. And the hat says Famicom 2, which isn't just random nostalgia. No, this color scheme is very closely related to Grand Prix 2 3D Hot Rally. 26, football helmet and uniform. I was never that into sports and I'm still not, but seeing Mario in this attire makes me want a Mario themed football game more than ever. His jersey has the 64 on it. Those cleats look mighty tough and even the helmet is all scuffed up. 25, Metal Mario Cap in Suit. I know what you're thinking. Um, Nathaniel Candy, how can you like this and not Gold Mario? And yeah, yeah, you make a very fair point, but here's the thing. Nintendo's hit me in the nostalgic gut and I can't get up. 
It's Metal Mario from Mario 64. Like, come on, Nintendo, that's not fair. You're making me look like a hypocrite. 24, Mario's top hat and tuxedo. I don't know why, but seeing Mario dressed as a suave boy makes me so proud of him. Even though Mario's not anticipating getting married to Peach, he still comes prepared just in case the moment happens. 23, Bowser's top hat and tuxedo. And then he dresses as Bowser, which really makes you think. There's been some talk around the internet that Peach has always loved Bowser all along, and maybe she's never really getting kidnapped. So is Mario starting to believe that? Like, why else would he wear the same outfit that Bowser's wearing? Is he trying to fool her or something? Like seriously, it makes you think. 22, Builder Helmet and Outfit. The Wii U's only saving grace at this point is Super Mario Maker, and seeing this outfit in the game is just perfect. I love how his belt has a little hammer on it too, which makes a nice small nod to fighting Donkey Kong back in the arcades. Or because he's a builder, but you know. 21, Dr. Headwear and Outfit. And speaking of important references, Dr. Mario makes an appearance. Now I love that he's playable in Smash Bros, but him being in a 3D Mario game is a top grade honor for the guy. Even though they're the same person. 20, Explore Hat and Outfit. For a game that's all about going on an adventure, collecting coins, and fighting bosses, this defines what Mario should be repping. It's the classic Indiana Jones look, straight down to the hat and big backpack. And even crazier, this is actually a reference to Mario's Picross. 19, Chef Hat and Suit. We all know Mario is a big fan of the spaghetti and meatballs. I mean, who doesn't love a hot plate of carbs that slowly makes you fat? And not only that, but he loves some cookies too, seeing as this outfit originates from Yoshi's Cookie. 18, Skeleton Suit. I think it speaks for itself. You run around as a spooky, scary skeleton. So you know what that means? This is a final confirmation that Mario does indeed have bones. 17, Sombrero and Poncho. Seeing Mario in this is really telling of the power Super Mario Odyssey has. Any outfit has potential for the spotlight, and this one looks really vivid and dazzling, and even comes from everyone's favorite game, Quix. I've never heard of the game either, I, I don't know. 16, King's Crown and Outfit. Okay, plumber boy, now you're just showing off, Mr. Richie Rich. But to be fair, Mario definitely earned this outfit, seeing as it can only be obtained at the end of the game. And he does admittedly look quite majestic with it on, and it even comes with a sparkly cape. 15, Bridal Veil and Gown. Mario running around in a woman's wedding dress is simply hysterical. Like, I don't think I need to say anything else. 14, Diddy Kong hat and suit. Seeing how depraved Diddy Kong has been in recent Mario games, the fact that he gets a full outfit makes me forgive Nintendo on his lack of appearances. And you even get the tail! Like, I'm kinda surprised we didn't get a Donkey Kong outfit too. 13, Musician hat and outfit. One of the best parts of Mario Odyssey is the jazz sensation Jump Up Superstar. So the fact that Mario can dress just like the band members and look good while doing it is a big ol' thumbs up for me. 12. Zombie Headwear and Outfit We've entered banger territory with the outfits, starting with a goddamn axe in Mario's head. Yeah, he's become zombified with rotting skin, dead eyes, and ripped up clothes. It's freaking amazing. 11. Black Top Hat and Tuxedo You wanna talk about handsome? Oh, good lord! Mario cleans up real good with this one, and it's cool seeing this in 3D for the first time, seeing as it originates from Super Mario All-Stars. 10. Black Fedora and Suit This is basically the Black Top Hat 2.0. Mario just looks straight up badass. Like, I'm not sure if he works for his CEO with this thing on, or the Mafia, or a bit of both. 9. Luigi Cap and Suit Yes, you can play as Luigi in Mario Odyssey. Well, okay, not really, but you can at least wear his attire. I mean, even the game says that the L stands for winner, which doesn't make any sense, but who needs logic, am I right? 8. Wario Cap and Suit So Luigi's great and all, but he's been playable in lots of Mario games. Wario, on the other hand, is a bit more obscure, seeing as he really only participates in the spin-off stuff and once in Mario 64 DS. 7. Waluigi Cap and Suit this one obviously has the top Luigi and Wario. This is kind of the first playable version of Waluigi in any main Mario title. I mean, it's it's really not. 6. Cowboy Hat and Outfit While the golf outfit was pretty American, the cowboy one really drives the heritage home. Like the other outfits, the details are intricate and so well done, but what makes this one stand out more is Mario Party 2. No, seriously, look at the Mario Party 2 box art. How are you not reminded of this when you see Cowboy Mario? 5. Painter Cap and Outfit Man, this one is just such a keeper. 
Mario Paint is one of the most treasured Nintendo games, and being able to move around in this suit just feels important. Super Mario Odyssey truly is a work of art, and this outfit complements that perfectly. 4. 8-Bit Mario Cap I can't believe I maxed out my coin counter for this. It's literally just the amiibo model and he doesn't even move outside of waddling around. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. But that's why I love it so much. Only Nintendo would actually create something so stupid to this magnitude that I have to applaud them. Good job, guys. Three, sunshine shades and outfit. Any resemblance of Mario's sunshine brings a rush of excitement to me, but man, I was not expecting the actual shirt and shades from the game. It might not be the most stylish outfit of them all, but seeing Nintendo acknowledge Mario's sunshine to any capacity is always a pleasure. Two, boxer shorts. Mario runs around in his boxer shorts. This alone would have been number one, but I think you know what it is. And number one, Mario 64 cap and suit. You know, I would have really, really loved to see this pop up in the Mushroom Kingdom store completely unspoiled, but some prick tweeted the picture at me before the game came out, so thanks whoever did that. Now, outside of still being salty, the Mario 64 costume is the best Nintendo costume they could have possibly added. Because if it wasn't for that game, Mario Odyssey probably wouldn't even exist. So thank you, Nintendo, for always remembering where you came from. And that is every outfit ranked, guys. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and let me know what your list is in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.